The deadly challenges in the hit Netflix series Squid Game would never be a thing in real life, right? This is the messed up history of the Russian reality game show hoax that sounds a lot like Squid Game. Game 2 Winter was purportedly going to be a reality show streaming online in July 2017. According to the Siberian Times, the game involved taking between 20 to 30 contestants to an island in the Ob River in the Tomsk region in Siberia and leaving them there for nine months, where they'd have to survive in order to win the $1.7 million prize split amongst the survivors. Starting off in the summertime, where temperatures in Siberia can get as high as 35 degrees Fahrenheit, participants would have to survive through the Siberian winter, with temperatures dropping to negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. Game 2 Winter would have involved 2,000 cameras set up on the island, and participants would have been on their own for the entire nine months. Each participant would also have their own portable camera, just like in the History Channel survival show Alone. According to the BBC, participation wasn't necessarily open to everyone. Participants could either be voted in online or compete by paying around 10 million rubles, which is about $140,000. They also had to be of sound mind and over the age of 18. Participants were also going to supposedly be given survival training beforehand by former members of Russia's military intelligence service. So who is the guy behind this game? Yevgeny Pyavkovsky is a Russian entrepreneur whose previous projects include an app to block calls from debt collectors and a kindergarten for adults, where visitors could take classes, play games, and even get an hour of nap time. For Game 2 Winter, Pyatkovsky claimed that all the participants would have to sign a release of liability as well as a death waiver, and stated, We will refuse any claim of participants even if they were to be killed or raped. That part got major press attention around the globe, as you'd expect, and made the Game 2 Winter concept go viral. Pyatkovsky claimed that there were essentially no rules for Game 2 Winter and that everything was going to be allowed. Participants would only be able to bring a little over 200 pounds of equipment with them, and the Siberian Times reports that although guns weren't going to be permitted, knives were allowed. Each week, participants would have the option to request an item from viewers, and viewers would have the option to donate money for the item to be purchased. Participants could choose whether or not to team up with each other or try to survive alone, but Pyatkovsky underlined the fact that production wouldn't intervene, saying, I am pretty sure there will be fights and more. We are not scared of negative reaction if that happens either. Bears were also expected in the game, another similarity to Alone, especially since the number of bears in Siberia had recently doubled. Filming would reportedly start at the end of the brown bears mating season and just days before the biting gnats arrived, according to Pyatkovsky. Although there were going to be as many as 2,000 cameras on the island, they wouldn't be able to track the participants' every move. Pyatkovsky claimed, We will not intervene into relations between participants nor monitor their sexual life either, and our cameras will not be able to follow every move in every corner of the island. For the Siberian Times, Pyatkovsky added, If a woman falls pregnant and manages to carry the baby, that's fine with us. However, no one was technically forced to stay on the island. There would be a panic button with a satellite connection, and those who wanted to leave the game could reportedly be quickly rescued. However, Pyatkovsky promised that the show was going to be, quote, absolutely extreme, there are no exceptions. There would be no doctors on site, and only in extreme cases would a helicopter come to take someone to the doctor, if they were willing to forfeit the game. According to Snopes, the waiver signed by participants did allow them to give consent to be, quote, maimed, even killed, but it didn't state that they would be free from prosecution. The waiver acknowledged that the laws of the Russian Federation would still be in effect and that anyone who commits a crime would be arrested. There were a few safety precautions in place, but Deadline reports that it would still take helicopters about 30 minutes to reach the participants in the event of an emergency. And a lot can happen in those 30 minutes. By December 2016, roughly six months before the show was meant to start filming, Pyatkovsky claimed that up to 60 people from around the world had already applied to be a participant on the show, according to The Guardian. Fans of the Korean Netflix series Squid Game probably think Game 2 Winter sounds disconcertingly similar. In Squid Game, contestants sign a contract where they agree that they will not stop playing, that if they refuse to play, they will be eliminated, and that the games may be terminated by a majority vote. With the signed waiver and the lack of rules prohibiting violence, it's easy to see the resemblance between the two games. Game 2 Winter is also reminiscent of Battle Royale, a Japanese novel, manga, and film where school students are taken to an island and told they have to murder one another to see who will survive. Squid Game had yet to come out at the time, and while many compared Game 2 Winter to The Hunger Games, Pyatkovsky had a different comparison in mind, likening his contest to the television show Lost, according to the Siberian Times. This is not your island. This is our island. And the only reason you're living on it is because we let you live on it. 
In Squid Game, the stakes are higher. Rather than playing for just under $2 million, which would be shared amongst the survivors, the participants in Squid Game are playing for roughly $38 million. And in Squid Game, there's only one winner. After garnering worldwide attention with his reality TV show and getting nearly 2 million visitors to the show's website, Yevgeny Pyatkovsky revealed in July 2017 that the entire thing was a hoax. According to The Hollywood Reporter, he announced in a video address on the project's website that the entire project was created for the purpose of market research, although he said nothing about the nature of this supposed market research. Pyatkovsky also claimed that he didn't invest a single kopeck in the project and that it had the benefit of working as free advertising. He also said that he used, quote, a wave of Russia-phobia to get people's attention. Insisting that the belief in his project proved he was a marketing genius, Pyatkovsky maintained that he would have had to spend millions for the amount of free advertising that the project received. Unsurprisingly, many of the participants who signed up to compete in Game 2 Winter were less than thrilled to find out that the whole project was a fake. The Siberian Times writes that Yana Ivanova, one potential participant, had an idea, saying, I suggest the project continues with just one participant, Yevgeny. Let's drop him somewhere in the taiga and stick a GoPro on his head. It will be a great selling video. Many felt like they had been cheated. Mats Goldberg, a potential participant from Sweden, said that they were, quote, made to look like a fool in such an arrogant way. They also called upon Pyatkovsky to reveal what the market research was for, but Pyatkovsky has yet to offer any information as of the making of this video. Although Pyatkovsky promised a refund everyone who paid to participate in the game, it's not clear if those refunds were ever actually issued, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite strange stories are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.